it's uh, 216. Mm -hmm. Probably need to be done about 214. Yeah. And I just got to the study room and I was looking at this. Have you ever seen this before? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I noticed that uh, the protected person, yeah, didn't sign the weapon surrender form and the petitioner didn't either. Yes. Now, of course, there's probably two of them. I mean, you have two different uh, individuals that are employed as the Clallam County Clerk. Yes. And it looks to me like you have two different court commissioners. Yeah. <laughs> just looking at their signatures. And I just wondered where both the Heidis are today. Pooch! <laughs> you know, I had some time when I was walking up here. And I could really feel that my ass was leaking as if somebody tried to be on me. Yes. Discharged into me and made it look like I was using drugs when I wasn't. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know, when I really start to flail around because the internet was so slow, mm -hmm. I was concerned about you, the individuals that I'm going to sue. Now, let's say you got a badge on. You're in the police department, the sheriff's department. Um, <laughs> You're one of these that has sworn that you would uh, actually enforce the laws of the United States. And I sent about 3,000 emails. Yeah. <laughs> Civil rights coordinators, school employees, mandatory reporters. Yes. And then I went online, as I usually do, and I Google my last name, Budnick, B-U-D-N-E-K. Yeah. And it's really weird to me that Every day that I do that, I usually just put the, the amount of time for the search as one week. Yeah. For six months, the Jefferson County District Court docket has been tagged ooch, to my last name when I haven't been going to court. Mm. Now, if you do a search for your own last name, yeah, why don't you find out how many court dockets are associated with your last name? Because I think it's harassment. Somebody got pissed off in Jefferson County, didn't you? <laughs> now, for every sheriff that feels that their job is too stressful, yes, that you didn't think it was criminal to have me arrested when you did know I wasn't in Brennan, yes, mm -hmm. I wasn't cyber-stalking. It's really interesting that my last name is Budnick and my wife's last name is Budnick, yes. I did actually click on the link for the Brennan School District. <laughs> Seem that uh, Trish Petard right now thinks it's fucking funny that my last name is still associated with my wife's last name. Now, I know that I mentioned wanting to get a divorce. And the Brennan School District, if you search for Budnick and the uh, last week as a duration, yeah, mm -hmm. that school district shows up every time. Now, how can it be that... Um, the well, the Port Townsend Leader. <laughs> My sons have been in the Port Townsend Leader uh, newspaper numerous times. Yes. When I document that they're in the wrong grades, they're going to graduate at 19 and a half years old. <laughs> it seems that somebody wants big, fat lawsuits today. Now, are you feeling the stress of your individual work? <laughs> Because I'm wanting to use the judicial system. Now, let's have a look, okay? Both of the individuals employed that have two different signatures, yes. Uh huh. You think it's funny yep. putting a court docket to my last name when I haven't been in court for, well, the last time was January 4th, wasn't it? You remember that dismissal right now? Who's trying to fuck me over today? Jefferson County. Why is it that the poor towns and leader every couple of days updates uh -huh, the last name Budnick when my sons haven't been in the newspaper for months? Poop! Who was it in the court that thought it was funny putting a court docket with my last name as if anybody had searched right now. Who is it right now that thinks this shit is funny? Now, 
I document in an email, yes, that my sons are in the wrong grade, that my wife gave me no due process when going through a divorce, right, that our United Nations marriage certificate is making me, is making it increasingly difficult to get my fucking last name. <laughs>